our first red carpet event for Black Panther. Black Panther, what a way to start it off. For yes. First, first ever Black History Month for the movie Black Panther. We have Mr. Sean here, yes. who was ready to see the movie. As you see, as you see yes. she's prepared. Make sure you have the stick. Please make sure you get everything from head to toe. So, yes. So, what are you? So honestly, I'm not into comics and all of those things, right? But what inspired me about it is that I wanted to be a And I appreciate that now in this time, in the season in which we are in, we get to represent ourselves. We get to say, hey, we're still out here. We're still alone. And that all will be well. You know, we are coming together. We are joining together. We're being unified. Yes. And we're going to see our culture and its richness. You're yes. going to see who we are, what we represent, what we stand for, yes. you know, and that has not been forgotten, you know. Yes. Even with our African guards and things of that nature, it says this is our culture, you yes. know, embodying it and representing to the fullest. Right. So I'm just looking for a cultural experience. Yes, we are in Black History Month, so yes. that makes it even that much greater. greater. Right. And so it just helps us to recognize and be aware. We are here, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> We're here to stay. Yes. I love it. And as you can see, everyone showed up and showed out. <laughs> I tell you, we came out there. Yes. Our next day, we came to represent. This is what it's all about. When we come together and we show who we are. Yes. This is what it is. So today, this is day two. We're going to be interviewing everybody to get their feedback after the movie and try to, you know, interview more people before the movie to see what they expect. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Challenge day. Hello and welcome back to Too Too Much Alive at the red carpet event for Black people. We have Aisha. 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 <laughs> How are you today? What are some things you expect from this show? Just excitement. I'm really like overwhelmed, overjoyed. Just a mix of so many good emotions, and I feel like the power is really yeah. after. about this movie as a black man, as a black person. 
it was it was really meaningful in so many ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
The mining tribe will not challenge today. We are back. Too, too much. Listen, we are here with this talent. When I tell you this man with the hands have skills, he be in there like... You feel me? Skills. Because we've seen what he does. Exactly. Hey, we are here with
much hard work and dedication, but I wouldn't have anybody else but my sister by my side. <laughs> Like what we do, what we want to do with CM events is just to uh, celebrate blackness and celebrate um, ourselves and being able to come out and get dressed up on a Friday, Saturday night and just chill and like be ourselves and our most authentic selves. Right. Exactly. And more importantly, we want to practice like group economics within the black community. Like this right here, it, it showing support is a big deal for us. Right. And the response that we received, um, we sold out in four days. We made the event right for this event at four o'clock in the morning on Sunday night, and we sold out by Thursday. Yes. And then we left some tickets for artists that wanted to come, and our photographers, and uh, people like you guys that wanted to get the word out there because this is what we want to do. Yeah, so I'm like really excited. The statistics were crazy when we posted the uh, event on Facebook. Like, I think the last time I checked, it was like over 9,000 followers that were interested. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, we gotta crack down on this, get a little bit more secure. <laughs> Maybe it'll be like 10 people would come with us. It looks like I roll out the red carpet and have the backdrop and call it a day. But yeah. I'm so happy that all 273 other people came. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So, wow. What about what was you? The <laughs> what was it? I mean, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful experience. Um, I went and I met Forrest. I met Chadwick. You know, I met Lupita. I met Daniel. I mean, it was really powerful to see that. Um, regalness that they show on camera is actually on camera as well. I was actually able to look at Chadwick to see what it took to be the Black Panther, to be in that light, you know, to be that man that had everything on his shoulders, you know what I mean, and was still able to walk in himself and to walk in a stiffness, you know what I mean. Um, and the level of representation, you know, I grew up seeing the Black Panther and loving the Black Panther and seeing myself as that king. You know, they have other heroes as you know, white people have, we have Peter Parker, they have Bruce Banner, they have mm -hmm. Tony Stark, we have T'Challa. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what we can take in. That is the, the king that we can see as ourselves, you know. The Dora Milaje, these strong women, you know. We have Wonder Woman, but we don't have any warrior black woman, you know what I mean? So when it comes to seeing Nakia, you know, when it comes to seeing Shuri, this intelligent woman, now we have the younger black sisters and queens who can see themselves in a different light. I don't always have to see myself as a princess, I can see myself as a scientist, I can see myself as a warrior now, as a Queen, you know what I mean? Not just a princess. So I really love what this movie really shown when it came to representation and when it came to how we see ourselves. You know, this this concept of being a king or being queens is really going to um, cause a ripple through mm -hmm. through the world when they really act in that manner. You know what I mean? These little kids who are gonna go to school, I'm T'Challa. Yes. You know, I'm the Kia. You know, they're really gonna internalize that, and I love this. I love it. Yes. I love it. That, that I'm lost for words. Yes. And, and, and I, I, I love the movie. I actually seen it the night before. I was like, wait, I need to say it. But I'm glad I did. And I don't mind supporting this film over and over and over again. And I'm just saying, I, I appreciate you. I got to touch because he was in the movie. He was in, he was in the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. And I thank y'all. Thank you. Even like having a in the Wakanda, it would really be Wakanda forever, and I'm calling it a day. 
and nothing else will be able to like phase us when we have the strength of each other. Like we have to, we have to learn that handshake. I feel like every person that watches this movie has to and they greet each other like that. Like, exactly. Yes, we'll call it forever. Exactly. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of emphasis on us being kings and queens back in the day, you know, when, you know, during times of the wars and, and whatnot, but there's never any credit to us being regal and kings and queens now. This is really going to give us that consciousness of we are the modern day kings and queens. Yes. You know, and this is what's going to help us internalize that concept. Yes. Okay, now I see myself as a king and queen, but then you have no um, visualization of it, but now you have a movie, I have a whole movie I can show you, that is my regalness. If you want to see it in a, in a real form, you can look at that. You can see it in front of me and how I talk to you, how I express myself yeah. to you, but I have a whole movie there. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. It also made me really want to cut the rest of my hair off and just be like, yeah. I'm just about to, I already flipped my earrings now. <laughs> like, I really just wanted to cut all the hair off now so I'd be out here like a warrior princess. Yeah. <laughs> And my IG is S K E E Z Y K I C K N I T. Skeezy kicking. Skeezy kicking. Why are you so quiet? I like the way you did it. I'm like, okay, you flow it like this. Like, all right, I'm still. I'm ready to leave. I mean, you don't want to say too much at all. You got too much. I can't come after him. Right, right. You don't get it. Right, right. Okay, so my Instagram is Harmony underscore four. 